Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the solo for Old Love from Clapton's Unplugged album. So this one's quite long and it's improvised, so it's got a lot of stuff that's uh, sometimes at points a little hard to recreate, but we're going to work our way through it note for note and hopefully you'll get everything down. So we're just going to start with the first phrase. We're in standard tuning here. The first phrase sounds like this. So that's one of those, uh, we have a 12th fret on the high E string, the uh, 13th fret on the B, and you're gonna kind of bend up the 13th fret, and you can bend the 12 too if you want. Just a slight bend as you pick those two. Then 14 on the G, over to 14 on the D, back to 14 twice on the G, and end on the B string at the 12th fret. All right, then we're gonna have this next phrase. So we're still hanging around the same notes a little bit. We have 13, 12 on the B string, 14 on the G, back to that 12 on the B. Back to 13 and then do a quick hammer on pull, 12, 13, 12 on that B. To the 14th fret on the G back to the 12th fret on the B twice. So a lot of these phrases they're repeating a lot of it's kind of this blues style of playing where you're you're just kind of in the feel of everything and you just don't really you're gonna have some notes repeated and just how it's phrased so a lot of times this might sound like I'm saying a lot of notes the best thing is just kind of follow along uh, when I'm playing the thing slowly I'm just trying to get you a grasp of what the notes are by walking you through it but we have this slow All right, then we have this. All right, so that's a little bit easier to understand. 12, 13, up to 15. I'm playing this kind of like he plays it. He likes to use just his first and second finger a lot. So we have 12, 13, shift up to 15, and then the quick hammer on pull off from 13, 15, 13. Then 12, 13, and then the same hammer on pull off. And then the 14th fret on the G, 12th fret on the B three times, and then three times on that 14. Slowly. All right, let's move it on along. Next phrase sounds like this. All right, so 12, 10, 12 on the high E. Then you're going to hammer on pull off from those over to 13 on the B, back to that um, high E string, 10th fret. 13, 10, you're going to do that twice on the B. Twelve on the G, 10 on the B string, slide into the 14th fret on the G. 10, and then you hit the G string 12th fret a few times. All together for that lick. All right, now this next lick's a little long, so I'll play through it real quick. So it kind of goes down. It's pretty cool when it's in the middle of the solo. We're going to have 9 on the G, 10 on the B, 7 on the high E. Then do that 8. Then do one of his hammer pull-offs again. 10 on the B, 7 on the high E. Let's work through that real quick. Back to that 10 on the B. And now we speed things up a little bit. 8th fret on the... B string, 9, 7, 9, 7 on the G. Shift back to the 5th fret on the G string. Hammer and pull between 5, 7, back to 5. 7 on the D, 5 on the G. Shift that back to 4, 7, 5. 
and we get to the little blue scale here. Six, um, is seven, six, five on the A. So we have. Shift down to the third fret on the A, over to the fifth fret on the low E string, back to the third fret on the A, pick the fifth fret, slide up to the uh, seventh fret, and play five seven there, then shift back here and hit the five on the low E, then three five to end it on the A. So he has a lot of notes. So let me start here from the four here on the G. take you gotta do this stuff in pieces I, I know it's a lot of notes uh, so here we go the next phrase all right so this one's kind of got a, a little funkier feel to it so we have seventh fret twice on the D string then you slightly hit the fifth fret on the A string roll it into the fifth fret on the D now that Fifth fret on the D starts this ascending line. Five, seven, and then four, five on the G. Seven on the G, five on the B, seven on the G. So we have. All right, now we're gonna do the hammer pull between five and seven. Then play four, five. So you're gonna do that same look again, just on different notes. It's gonna be pull, do the hammer pull on four and five, and then you can play two four after it. So we have a little repetitive sequence, and keep going with that. Now we're gonna do the hammer pull between the two and the four, and then play the five on the D, and then the two on the G. So we have. Then we're going to play 5-2 on the D, and then 5-7 on the A. All right, all through that lick. All right, now we have this little ascending lick. Three on the A strings, uh, then five on the A. Then pick the five again and slide it up to seven. Then play five, seven on the D, five, seven on the G. And when you play that seven, slide it up to the ninth fret. And slide into that. And then you're gonna grab the eighth fret on the B string and put those a few times with the ninth fret on the G. So that's five times. And then we make it to these, uh, where he plays these uh, triads up here, where he's pretty much just playing a bar at the eighth fret, first and second string, then the ninth fret on the G. All right, so that's three times on that chord. And then right out of it, 10 on the B, eight on the E, 10, and then slide 10 to 12, then play 10, 12. All right, then we have this next phrase. Simple enough, 15, 12 on the high E, then 15 on the B, and then 12 on the high E played four times. All right, next phrase. All right, so that's a few more notes there. 12 on the high E, 15, 13, 12 on the B, 14 on the G, back to 12 on the B, 
back to 14 on the G, down to 14 on the D. Let me go through those again. Fourteen on the G, then twelve, thirteen on the B string. And in this lick with thirteen, twelve now on the B, fourteen on the G, then three times on the twelfth fret on the B string. And like I said, the best way to do it is follow along with the recording, learn a learn a phrase here and then follow along with the recording and just try to master the sound of it, the phrasing of it. It's just, just to get the notes on your fingers. Um, it's really hard to learn something that's this long, has this many notes, just kind of a, a one after the other. Break it down into small pieces as I go through and you know practice it with the recording, then come back and learn a little bit more, go back and practice that with it. That's the best way to really get it down. All right, so let's end this. We have an, another one here, it sounds like this. So we have this kind of fast little repeated bullet. We finally have something that repeats. How about that? So we have three, 13, 15, 13 on the B. So you go 13, 15, 13, 15, and slide it up to the 17th fret. Then 15, 17, 15. Just let it hang on that 15. Then we have that fast lick, which is just. So it's just 15, 17, then 17 on the G string. I'm sorry, 15, 17, then do a quick hammer pull between, on the B string between that 15 and 17. And then play the 17 on the G. Now you're gonna do that lick five times. After you hit that 15 this last time on the B, come over to the 14th fret on the G string. And hit that like five or six times, just kind of, you're really drawing out that note. All right, now we have this phrase. So we're getting to it, we're getting through it. So we have, we're sliding into the ninth fret on the G here. Then eighth fret twice on the B. Then once on that nine, and then once on the eight again. Then we have nine again, 10 on the B string. Seven, eight, 10 on the high E. Hammer pull between the 8 and the 10. 10 on the B, then 8, 7. So we have. Then we're gonna go into some double stops. Slide in the 10 and 12 on the 10 on the high E, 12 on the B. Play that five times. Slide it down to eight and 10, do that three times. Then seven and eight, three times. Then five and five, a little mini bar, just twice, so. Then seven, five, four on the G, seven, five on the D. on there, uh, blue scale lick. We have seven, six, five on the uh, A string. And come back, we're getting ready to go into this next part where it's a different chord uh, rhythm underneath it. Sit three, five, and then do a quick hammer pull between those two notes over the five on the um, low E string. All right, now we have this part, which is goes on, it's over top of this little.
All right, so that sounds like this. All right, so that's got really a kind of a laid back, kind of behind the beat feel to it. So you gotta really pay attention to that when you're trying to follow along with the recording. So it sounds like this. We have three five on the A, then five on the low E, then three five on the A again, and shift into that blues note. Back to five three, five on the low E. Then three five on the A. Hammer pull those two notes. Five on the low E string, back to three on the A string. Five on the low E, and then do a quick little uh, legato phrase, three, five, pull off the three, pull off the open string, so. All right, nothing picked on those four notes. So it sounds like this. Now we get the probably the fastest lick in the in the whole thing. Kind of moves around a lot too. So it sounds like this. Alright, so yeah, it goes all the way down from here all the way up to there. So we're gonna start sliding into the seventh fret on the A string. Hit that a few times. 5-7 on the D, hammer pull those two notes, 7 on the A, back to the 5 on the D, so we have this, slide 7 to 5 on the A, pull off a 3, then 5-3 three again, so we have, slide 5 to 7, 5-7 five, seven twice on the D string, then 4, 5 on the G. So we have. Hammer 5 to 7 now. The second half of the lick sounds like this. Alright. So he's really starting to shift positions a lot here. Hammer 5 to 7 on the G. 5 on the B string, back to 7 on the G, 5 on the B, slide 7 to 9, 8 on the B, 9 on the G, 8, 10 on the B, Seven, eight, ten on the high E string, then 10 on the B, 8 on the high E, 10 on the B. So let's go through those real quick. Eight twice on the high E, 10, 12, hammer pull those two notes, 13 on the B, 10 on the high E, and then slide into the 15th fret on the B string. Then you can end the lick with 13 on the B, 14 on the G, 13 on the B. Real slow through the whole lick. downhill from here where it's, it's a lot easier. So we have 15, 12, and not this I'll play the lick real quick. So it says 15, 12 on the high E, then 15 on the B. 12 on the high E, then 15, 13, 12 on the B. That's the first third of it at least. Little pause, 12, 13, 12 on the B. Okay, and then the fourth part of it is a uh, 14th on the um, G, 14 on the D, 14 on G, 12, 13, 15. It's kind of that phrasing to it. One more time. All 
right? Now we're gonna play 12 on the high E, 15 on the B. So we're playing that really kind of six times. Then 13 on the B twice, 12 on the B twice. Back to send double stops, 12 on the high E, 13 on the B string. Play that three times. Slide down to the 10 and 12 and play that a couple more times. All right, we're gonna end it like this. All right, so we have a lick where there's one note that's out of key there. So he, it's kind of a muted sound and when he does it, I think he noticed it and, and repeated it again and, and, and corrected it, but, uh, or he might've just put to a, kind of a minor major thing. Uh, so it's 10 on the B string, then seven, nine on the high E, that's the note that sticks out a little bit. Then hammer seven, eight, seven, hammer pull there. 10 on the B string, seven on the high E. So we have, sorry. All right, and that last little lick. So that's just zero three on the low E string, then zero three five on the A, then zero three on the low E string again, then zero two on the fifth string, then a lick kind of like we did in the earlier in the song. We did for the chord progression. All right, so yeah, that was a monsters. Like I said, break it up into pieces, get the notes underneath your fingers, just watch this video, make a note of where the video, what part of it you were at, and go back and just listen to the song, play, practice playing those new notes uh, in the proper phrasing along with the recording, and then come back and learn another couple of phrases, and just do the process until you have the solo down. It'd be well worth it. It's a great solo, it's got lots of stuff, um, cool techniques in it. Um, but like I said, it's going to probably take a while to get it completely memorized. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got the whole song here. We got the rhythm video for you to watch for all the chord progressions and uh, all the solos here. So I hope you guys uh, can get a, real, a lot out of it. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.